Welcome to the Mile Podcast. I am your host, Dr. Daniel Knowles, and I'm grateful you have us join us each week. And remember, you can find the Mile High Podcast on iTunes, on Stitcher, on Facebook, on news everywhere. We're in over 30 countries, thousands of downloads. So you want to stay tuned every week for this information relative to the content each week. And today, I am very grateful to have our special guest, Dr. Liam Schubel, he almost needs no introduction. This man is known the world over for chiropractic world domination or dominance, and also for Schubel vision. And we'll talk about both of the things. And most importantly, he's also known for what's that? Isn't that the smash hit book? It's a smash book. chiropractors. <laughs> Welcome to the podcast, Liam Schubel. Thank you, Dr. Danny Knowles. It's a great pleasure to be with you here from the Republic of New Jersey. Uh, very excited. I'm, I'm packed up. I'm headed down to South America tomorrow morning uh, to Peru. As you know, I, I own a, a bunch of chiropractic offices down there. Very excited about the changes happening in Latin America and the rest of the world. As you mentioned, I'll be headed out to New Zealand Chiropractic College next month. So yeah, Danny, there's, there's huge changes taking place in chiropractic, positive changes as we start to develop and, and evolve. Uh, our chiropractic message, and, and when once people hear the message, it makes sense, it's logical, and uh, they want in. And so, my, that movement, I'm very excited about it. I got to tell you, all my Coloradian friends out there are, are are just you know jumping up and down about the movement that you yeah, that started, that you created there, and it's really be positive consequences uh, in in uh, all throughout Colorado. And uh, we're starting to see that that's picking up now in the United States. And as I always say, you know, CWD, chiropractic world dominance, it's, it's it's unstoppable. It's uh, you, you, it's irrefutable, and it's irresistible. So uh, Mile High is certainly a part of that, and I'm excited to be a part of it. And you know, uh, sorry to ramble on here, but if we could use the term "ramble on," since Led Zeppelin is going to be <laughs> present Love there. Uh, you know, Dr. Frank Hahn. I was over at his house today at the beautiful Princess Oasis, uh, and you know, he's of course the founder of CEO Television, and we were plotting out. Uh, the strategy that we're going to be used to to broadcast uh, some of the best of Mile High uh, to the world, and uh, very exciting. You know, some of the guests that we're going to be having there are electrifying. I love interviewing them. I love listening to them, and they really are crucial to the transformation and evolution of the planet. And I think it's noble of you, Danny, to allow uh, certain portions of of your your program to be uh, transmitted to the parts of the world, so that people that you know, uh, can't get to mile high, whether it be time, uh, money, or distance, uh, they have the opportunity to uh, listen to some of the brilliance that, that I got to tell you, the fortunate people that are going to be at that location, I can't wait, Danny, to soak it up. I'm, I'm bringing a huge notebook, and I'm, I'm taking a bunch of notes, because, you know, yeah. again, rambling on, you know, I, a lot of people think that, that I know it all, and, uh, and gosh, I know a lot of it with 20 chiropractic offices now uh, and 20 years in the business, uh, but I learn something new every single time, and that's why I'm excited about Mile High, and, you know, I was just talking to Australia, I did a live the other day, and, you know, they're talking about Mile High in Australia, uh, of course, Phil McMaster, the, the president of New Zealand Chiropractic College is going to be at Mile High. Uh, and, you know, one of the questions at, at this um, interview I was doing for, in Australia uh, via the, the Internet was, you know, how, what should I do if I'm, if I'm down, if I'm out, I'm in, I'm in practice, I feel like, you know, I'm losing more than I'm winning. Uh, I, I think I'm able to maintain a high level of passion all the time because I'm there at that same level. And, you know, Tony Robbins, I think, says a lot of times, you know, you look at the five people that you hang out with, and that's really a manifestation of who you are. And, and I only choose to have a vibrating at a high level because, I mean, if you could choose, why wouldn't you? And so Mile High is an, is an opportunity for us to mingle and, and, and uh, get around some of the top producing chiropractors really in the world. Um, and I got to tell you, I, I, Danny, there's going to be a lot of students going there, as you know, and I enjoy spending time with them. You know, I learn from them. For me, we're, we're all uh, an open book at, at, at Mile High, and, and that's what I love. I love the feeling of love that's going on. I love the feeling of quality information that you insist upon. Of course, the manual is being produced uh, as we speak. Uh, you know, I was, of course, the first person to get my contribution in. <laughs> and, 
And so, you know, you're producing a lot of value there, Danny, and, and, and a lot of camaraderie. So, you know, it's not just a spiz fest, but it is a spiz fest. Nothing wrong with that. It's exciting. It, but it's not just a spiz fest. It's also real world information that you can use. And, and you know, Danny, I, I, this past week as we've been promoting Mile High, I can't believe the amount of uh, private messages and public messages that I received saying, you know, last year at Ohio, I implemented some of the things that you talked about. You know, you want to talk about ROI, return on investment. You know, Mile High is a no-brainer. So I, I hope that people take advantage and, and you know, get there and, and, and feel and experience what it is. Time is very limited. I don't have time to waste. And I drop everything and go to Mile High. And a matter of fact, I take advantage of the, the huge opportunities that they're in Colorado. I mean, you're talking about Rocky Mountain High, man. You know, we're, we're, we, Frankie and I are hiking all the 14,000 uh, peaks. You know, we're, we're scaling uh, uh, mountains. We're, you know, we're belaying, I think. I don't know even know if we're doing that, but we're doing all kinds you of belay? things. You belay? We're yodeling. Yeah, I mean, we're... It's, it's, well, it's, well, let's talk about that. So my yeah. High is coming up August 18th to 21st. So if you didn't have it on your calendar, now you got that. Yes, stay longer. You know, or come early so that way you can enjoy Colorado because that just is something smart people do when they're coming out here, um, like you mentioned. Next thing about that is there's lots of things that are going on. Like, you're right. We don't, I wouldn't want to waste my time just putting on a rah rah spiz fest. I, I enjoy it, it's fun, but this isn't to have a jacuzzi experience. That's nice. But it's to really have something that strengthens your ability to practice and have an impact in your community. So let's run through a few of those things, right? So first of all, let's mention it because not everybody knows this. We added the screening of Life Adjusted, Jay Kamarick's film. Yeah, you know, Danny, that's huge. I was so excited. Uh, you know, of course, I have a personal line uh, to you. You know, we're, 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 we have a, a, there's a red line, a red phone that I pick up and it instantly dials into you. Uh, I never get an answering machine or anything. I have direct contact and direct access. So because of that, I was uh, probably the first person to hear about uh, Dr. Jay Kamarik's smash hit film, Life Adjusted. And I got to tell you, Danny, that film is changing the way people see chiropractic uh, because it's hitting chiropractic at a different uh, aspect. And, and that is, you know, there's this idea that, uh, that we need more research, and that's valid. We, we certainly, it never hurts to have more research. But, you know, there's a lot of people around the world that think that chiropractic is a, uh, it's a, what would you call it, a sugar pill, so to speak. You know, you, you have to kind of believe in it for it to work. And, you know, the thing that I, I, I enjoy, I've had the opportunity to work with Dr. Jake Kamarik, and he's a master, of course. Uh, and he's, I've, I've watched him work on multi-million dollar Arabian horses and just one after the other. And the owners trust him, and they pay him very well to take care of these horses. And let me tell you something. It's not because they believe in chiropractic. It's because they see the results in chiropractic. And, you know, the famous thing I always like to say is, you know, if chiropractic is a placebo, what is the horse thinking when, <laughs> when, when they're getting adjusted? And if you've had any time, you know, my, my, my daughter has spent a lot of time on horses. Right. Uh, thank Thank God she's not interested in them anymore. It's going to save me a ton of money down the future. But, uh, you know, if you've spent any time with horses, they're skittish, Danny. They, they are not uh, interested in anything unusual or anything, right. you know, uh, scary that, that to approach them. And you watch these horses as they interact with Dr. Jay Kamarik, and they, they're excited to see them. You know, they can't wait to get adjusted. And so, <laughs> you know, again, what's the mindset behind that? You know, right, a horse right, is right. saying... This is just good for me. I mean, the horse is directly connected to to its innate. And, and that's a good point. It was a, you said let's focus on the positive. Before I say some more things that are that are going on at the event, let's talk about that. There's lots of positive stuff going on around the world in chiropractic. So, like, let's grow the positive stuff. So, like, this film, that's a huge positive thing huge. going on in chiropractic. Things going on at the New Zealand School, huge positive things going on in chiropractic that Phil McMaster is doing. Right? What else have you seen that are big wins going on around the profession that we should be enthusiastic about? Well, listen, Danny, I mean, you know as well as I do, about five years ago, people were saying, Sherman, what? There's, what, there's right. a college in South Carolina? You know, Sherman College of Chiropractic, Danny, is growing like wildfire. I mean, I was just privy to some uh, uh, elite planning that was going on as far as uh, the, uh, the expansion of the campus. And my goodness, I mean, we're, we're looking at uh, uh, blowing the doors out there with, with new students coming, by the way, from around the world. They're, right. they're coming to Sparkle City, uh, South, Spartanburg, South Carolina. And, you know, it, it, 
here's one of the things we have raving fans. I mean, our students are raving fans. Right. You know, so many other schools, they say, you know, I just feel like I'm a number. I don't even know the president. I don't know anybody. You know, our president, Dr. Ed Cordero, knows every student by name. And, I, you know, he's, I, I was just looking today uh, at one of the posts that uh, Dr. Uh, Neil Cohen, the executive vice president at Sherman, was saying, you know, they just did a, a Sherman Connect call and they had five new uh, you know, new potential students show up and say, hey, wow. listen, we want to be a part of this. We're excited about it. Wow. And, and, you know, this is the thing. As I travel around the world, Danny, you know, I, I, I've probably been kicked off more campuses than there are campuses on the bus. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, you know, I usually am allowed to go in there for the first time when they don't know who I am, but then I'm not invited back. And I never badmouth the school. But I always talk positive about chiropractic, and in some circles, that's not positive. You know? <laughs> they, they have a self-loathing that, that has to be maintained. Right. So, you know, when, when these students are, are that I travel around and I talk to in, in some of the schools that are, let's say, allopathetically minded, uh, they can't believe that they're – that. Sherman College has actually people like Dr. Christopher Kent, right? This, this newest Huge. acquisition that we have, he's the, uh, the chief officer of evidence-informed, uh, um, evidence-based care. And I, I got to tell you, it's very exciting what he's doing there. Uh, you know, we've got Armand Rossi has just joined us. Uh, you know, we, and I could go on and on. I mean, I'm going to, if I keep going on, I'll leave out names and then people will be aggravated with me. But we have, uh, you know, the dream team. You look at the board of trustees at Sherman College of Chiropractic. And again, with our president, if you remember, Danny, when we inherited this, this uh, I remember. situation, I remember. right, we were, I mean, Sherman College was on its way out, and, and now we're talking about expansion, you know, we're I talking about- I thought it was the end of chiropractic when I, when I got, I thought we were like, wow, we're going down. Pretty know? much, and, and if you remember, Dr. Cordero did something very unique. Uh, instead of bringing in things that weren't chiropractic that could fund us, that could save us, he threw everything off campus that wasn't ch chiropractic and Imagine said, that. here's the line. You know, we're, we're, this is the line for chiropractic. If you're in, you're in. If you're out, we still love you, you know, but you're out, and that's cool. And what happened was I think the rest of the profession was waiting for that kind of leadership to right. step up so that they could fund it. You know, I, 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 I've had the opportunity to speak with – uh, uh, Dr. Irene Gold, which, as you know, Dr. Irene now is going to be coming to uh, a Mile High. And, you know, she's probably, her and Dr. Reggie Gold were probably the two greatest supporters of chiropractic in the history of, of, the, of chiropractic itself. Uh, and, you know, she's a big supporter of Sherman College. She loves Dr. Ed Cordero. She's a big supporter of Dr. Phil McMaster, loves uh, New Zealand Chiropractic College. And you have both those leaders at your event, at your organization. So you can see where the puck is going in chiropractic. This is certainly, as you stated, it's not a spiz fest. There's, this is real world transformation that's taking place in evolution of the planet. And really what's exciting is that the schools that are focused on one thing, and that's <laughs> one thing only, detection, analysis, and correction or adjustment of vertebral subluxation. Those are the schools that are seeing rapid growth because right. in marketing, that, I mean, it's surprising, right, in chiropractic, in marketing, that's the unique selling proposition, Danny. Like, wow, you detect, analyze, and adjust vertebral subluxation? That's all you do? How could you be successful? And when it's like, what well, we're doing tremendously successful because nobody else is doing that. Everybody else has a hodgepodge of, you know, the term wellness, which you could see you can see wellness uh, in chiropractic. You can see wellness at the pharmacy. I mean, it means nothing. And that's where you look at the, 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 the puck where it's going is detection analysis and correction of vertebral subluxation. And you see that where the puck has been, we've tried the wellness stint. It hasn't worked. It, it's, it's, caused, it's caused a dissipation of the, the power of chiropractic. I mean, really, why should we be embarrassed for what we do? It's, it's crucial. Every human being on the planet needs to be checked for vertebral subluxation and adjusted when necessary from birth, period. And that's what we're about politically. That's what we're about educationally. That's what we're about uh, in, in our seminars. That's what we're about in our technique classes. That's what we're focused on. And that's what you're seeing growing, right? Where, right. Wherever you, you put the energy, that's what starts to grow. Where, we got where, powerful yeah, where the people attention goes, itself. the energy flows. And that's the thing. Imagine that you focus, like, we're a school that teaches chiropractic, and you could go there and actually learn chiropractic in the school. Imagine and so that. people are attracted to that. Just like your office. I can go to an office and actually get 
chiropractic. And see, that's what we wanted to do with Mile High. And I want to ask you this about your offices. What we want to do with Mile High is have a resource in this region of the country where people can get real chiropractic information, both continuing education, philosophy, science, business strategies that they can grow in this region of the country because there was no resource for that. So, right, you, you find a need and you fill it, right? So that's, right. that's what we want to do because these chiropractors now are getting stronger in their ability to impact politically, to have bigger practices, and uh, it's become something that's, you know, can expand its focus from the inside out. Imagine that of the country from the center of the country out. So, you know, and that's one of the things that people love about what you bring to Mile High, because when you've got someone like you who runs, is it 20 offices now, 19? Yeah, well, 19, we're going to be opening up number 20 in October, and we might have a 21st ready by the end of the year as well. And so you've had 150, 200 associates, something like yes, that over the yes, years? Yes, in that neighborhood. So I'm sure you've seen patterns of who does well and who does not so well. What are some keys that you see in successful chiropractors? Well, you know, Napoleon Hill said, think and grow rich, you know, <laughs> think and grow rich. So certainly, and this is one of the unique things, Danny, uh, that people find uh, about Schubel Vision seminars. Sure, we have all the how, you know, to be successful. Uh, and, and our focus mainly is communication. But we also start from the why behind that, because if you don't have the why, the how is not going to be uh, infused with the level of passion and excitement that you need to uh, uh, bring about to make things happen. So what I bring is, and, and what I find in working with associates, those who communicate chiropractic the most effectively, in other words, the ones who are passionate, the ones who have the correct word choices, the ones who uh, use the, the, the strategies that we have to create value for what it is that they do, guess what? Those are the ones that, you know, the, the practice member or the patient is doing this all the time. Right. Yes, yes, right. yes, yes. You know, we were talking about this the other day. Sometimes uh, uh, we have cover docs that come in, right? And they're experienced docs that we have on our team. And somebody will take a vacation and the cover doc will come in. Let's say, you know, you're seeing 100, 120 people in a day. The docs that know how to communicate and communicate with certainty, authority, and passion guess what? Out of 100, 120 people, there's almost no questions. You're just going in, you're adjusting, you're getting out. You're going in, you're adjusting, you're getting right, out. Right. The ones who lack that certainty, the ones who lack that level of authority in their communication, the ones who are weak in communication of chiropractic, guess what? It's questions without the wazoo. It's a leaky bucket. It's, uh, it, it is, it's a struggle in practice. And then right. this is what I see when I talk to chiropractors, and it doesn't matter where you are in the world. The right. ones that are struggling, I, you know, one of the things that I talked about last year at Mile High that somebody just recently contacted me and said, this changed the course of my life. And I couldn't believe it because, I, you know, for me, you know, the, the, some of these strategies just seem, you know, I forget that other people don't know these things. They just I, seem I like common sense to me. Right. And so one of the things I said was videotape your interactions in the office and you're going to see the ridiculous things that you say and do that are killing your practice. Right. You're thinking, oh, I'm nailing it. I'm doing so great. All my whole community, you don't understand, Danny. Here, I mean, yeah, in, in Boulder, Colorado, you're doing well because, you know, those people get it. But here where I'm at, at this part of the country, they don't understand it. You don't understand, <laughs> Danny, how the people are here, right? And what they find is when they videotape themselves, they say, oh, my goodness, I can't believe I have any patience, right? right. I mean, this is ridiculous, the things that I'm doing that I'm saying. And they have no strategy for communication, right. Danny. So they, right. they go in just like rolling the dice with, with, with practice members. One time I heard Fred Schofield say, and I thought it was brilliant, you know, you can't go in and roll the dice with people's lives. You know, you look at professional sports teams, Danny. They don't just like walk on the field and go, hey, everybody, what are we doing today? Are we, do we have any plays planned or anything like that? No, they're studying exactly what it is that they have to do to be right. successful. And they, they study each and every performance to see how they can improve. And yet chiropractors are going into the biggest game of their life. I mean, you have a person before you. You have the honor and the privilege to take care of this person. And if you ace it, if you master the communication between those people and they transform and they bring their families along for chiropractic care, you've transformed and evolved their life forever. But if you blow it, right? You know, like Eminem said, you only got one shot, right? right. If you blow it, if you blow this, right? right 
what are their options for the rest of their life? Oh, chiropractic didn't work for me. I didn't, I don't know. The whole thing sounded a little weird to me, so I decided to disconnect. And guess what I like now? I like pills, injections, and, and you know, and all kinds of uh, outside in stuff, cutting things out of my body. And by the way, time and a place for all that stuff, right? But if that's your only option for healthcare, come on, people. We, you know, we've got to wake up. We've got to wake up. And so. Your- You've got to vet your skill sets and all that stuff because of your commitment and privilege that you get to serve this person and to save them from whatever other alternative they would path they would end up on. And again, Danny, I, you know, I talked to Dr. Irene Gold, who is probably responsible for more licensed chiropractors uh, <laughs> in the entire world than right. anybody else that's ever been in existence. And I asked her, I said, Irene, what is the weakest link of all these new graduates that you're seeing? What's the weakest link in the success of the promulgation of chiropractic? And she goes, it's communication. They don't know how to communicate. You know, right. She said, they, they don't know how to communicate. And that is exactly what my entire life's work and focus has been. How to communicate chiropractic with value, passion, and in a way that people flock to you. You should be magnetic. You should not, by the way, there's no lack of new patients. They're all over the place. Right. They just don't know who you are and what you do and why they need to be in your office. And if you can't communicate that clearly to them, if you can't communicate it in a way that doesn't cause disconnect, then you're in deep trouble. The profession is in deep trouble. And really, humanity is in deep trouble because we are the only doctors in the world that are highly trained to detect, analyze, and adjust vertebral subluxation. And therefore, ergo sum, we're crucial to the transformation and evolution of the planet because we're the only doctors that, that work with optimized potential of the nerve system. It's huge, Danny. It's, it's, as Trump would say, it's huge. It's well, huge. and that's the thing. The one that suffers yeah. the most is not the chiropractor, the chiropractic office, or the chiropractic profession, but humanity. You know, that's what we're here for. I mean, that's, that's, the, that's, that's, the, this. that's the end result, Danny. That's the end result. And I, and I got to tell you, I love, I'm going to be going down, as I mentioned, I'm going to be flying down to Peru tomorrow afternoon. And uh, I love it. When I get there, Danny, I still see patients that have been with me from 20 years. And it's just, you know, I was in, doing a dinner with the doc, which you, you're very successful at dinner with the docs in the United States. I was doing a dinner with the doc, and I have one scheduled this week with, get this, a room full of medical doctors, right? Wow. And 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 I love it. I, by the way, how do you think I talk to medical doctors? The same, same way. way. You know, the, the person <laughs> was saying, oh, my God, don't you have to bring all these studies and everything? I said, why would I have to do that? Am I trying to justify what do I do to people? I mean, I'm the expert. Right? I, I, you, I don't go into a medical doctor and say, well, all right, I want you to justify that with all the latest medical science research. No, he's the he's the guy. He's the lung guy. He's the I, I assume he's an expert at what he does, right? We there, right? right. So... I go in there and I talk and I, and I just love it because the last time I was down there, there was a lady who, uh, who came up to me afterwards and she introduced me to this kid uh, who was, she had to be 23, you know, now I'm calling kids 23, 25 years old, right? <laughs> and, and this kid, I remember her name, well, her, her, um, her we, we had a nickname for her. It was Amino, 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 so, which means me, no, don't touch me because she'd scream and yell because she had been to medical doctors and she was scared of what they were going to be doing to her and she had leg cast Percy's disease that was right. her medical diagnosis right and so I was an upper cervical doctor Danny so I, I all I did was toggle her right and the leg cast Percy disappeared right uh, you know after a few adjustments and uh, and and I hadn't seen her then and you know you always have that thing Danny that uh, oh gosh I guess I failed or you know right, the, right, the right, chiropractic right. didn't work for her and that girl is now a, a professional gymnast. Wow. Uh, and yeah, and I just couldn't believe it. It was like Nadia Komenich, you know, that kind of like uh, look that she had. And she's like, you know, thank you, doctor. You saved my life. And it's like, wow, wow. I mean, this is the great thing that we work with every single day. The power that animates the living universe inside of that human being. We release the potential. And, you know, if you can't communicate it, and, and then, by the way, and, and I love, Danny, you're all about this, too is if you can't deliver the goods, then you, you're, up, you're up a creek without a paddle as well. And I love, you know, the, the network studies that you've shown at, uh, at Sherman Lyceum, or not Sherman Lyceum, the IRAPS, the International right. Research and Philosophy right. Symposium. Man, oh, I, I just saw the, I saw the, uh, I, got, I got a postcard today from Sherman and, and the lineup that they have for IRAPS, International Research. 
But anyway, I've another seen another positive thing going on in chiropractic. I another write. positive thing. And right. I and by the way, a lot of those people are going to be at mile high. But Danny, I love your pre and post X-rays uh, uh, with network care. I mean, when you see those real world structural changes that are happening, and then you show all the physiological changes that that are happening, that's powerful stuff. And again, it's like the Jay Comaric, you know, life adjusted animal right. thing. This is not you know positive thinking. This is not the power of positive thinking. That's the difference between chiropractic care and not chiropractic and, care. It's the light bulb on or the light bulb with the dimmer switch on. Right, and then you get more certainty. And certainty really helps a person be a much more effective chiropractor in their communication and, and their practice success. And that's part of what we want to do. And I know you help people with certainty at Schubel Vision. When's the next Schubel Vision that's coming up? Where so in the, the world is it? Yeah, so the next one we have is December 2nd and 3rd, or uh, El Segundo y Tercero de Diciembre, because <laughs> it's in Mexico. We're going down there to Mexico, go. Danny, and I'm very excited because, uh, you know, as you know, you, you and Rochelle attended uh, with your family uh, the International Federation of Chiropractors and Organizations, Amazing. the Global Summit. It Amazing. was huge. And, and I got to tell you, there's about two, 300 people are going to be showing up at this event because, again, these people are on fire about chiropractic, but the model that they've learned... Right is one of, I mean, can you believe this, Danny? I mean, the United States leads the world. Do you know what the model of chiropractic that's been transmitted to the rest of the world, sadly, unfortunately? It's been the model of 12 visits, you know, right. symptom-related, musculoskeletal or musculoskeletal symptomatology, blah, 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 blah. And so they don't know, I mean, Brazil is a total disaster. You know, they have no idea how to communicate chiropractic. Uh, and, and so the people are getting ripped off by these chiropractors because, I mean, in 12 visits, you know, in, in 12 visits, what? It, the patient hasn't had, it hasn't had chiropractic care for 50 years, right? right. So, so you're giving them one chiropractic adjustment for every, you know, three, four years. Come right. on. I we're good. But, you're doing you know, a disservice by doing that. You know, you're using disservice. huge disservice. And then what happens, Danny, because you're, you're, you're communicating chiropractic for something that it's not. Chiropractic is not a pain treatment system. It's not a... a a musculoskeletal uh, alleviation program. I mean, it's about optimization of life. So here you are treating somebody's neck pain and back pain while their kid is, is growing up subluxated and with a diminished potential. What are we doing over here? And so I'm excited about going down to Mexico uh, to uh, talk, uh, talk to Tick and talk chiropractic and communication and certainty. And we're going to be talking about business as well because, again, uh, with, with 19 chiropractic offices in Latin America, um, in spite of uh, what you know, the, the naysayers would say, I, I must know something about what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, my, my bank account certainly shows it, and uh, you know, I, I have the privilege to, to be able to to really, uh, you know, what I call wealth is is to be able to do what you want, when you want, with who you want, at any time you want, and that's you know, as people follow me on Facebook, I have you know over five thousand followers right now, Danny. Uh, as people follow me, they see me go, go all over the world, and I always, I was just in Paris, France, another good thing you want to talk about, uh, I was just in Paris, France, and uh, I was over there with my daughter having a great time, and I spoke to students at uh, the EFEC there, that's the, that's the chiropractic school that's over there, and, uh, and some doctors of chiropractic, and we packed the house again. And again, the message is, I asked them, I said, what messages do you want me to bring? And they said, the ones you always bring, you know, just bring it because we're not getting it over here. Right. And so it's, it's right. very exciting to watch. People want what we have, Danny. And, and I got to tell you, as you know, Mile High, people are going to be flying in all over the world to get what it is that you got there. Uh, I, again, it's a privilege for me to be a part of it. Uh, I always have a blast uh, in, in Colorado. There is so much fun. If you like the outdoors and you like, you know, uh, nature... It is so much fun. I, my, my soul gets transformed in the three or four days that we spend before Mile High, and then my, my mind is, uh, is inspired and, and, and I also, at Mile High, and I also learn real-world practical applications, which for me, you know, if I apply just one thing I learned to 20 offices, you can you could just even imagine the ROI over that. It's, it's probably bigger than the gross domestic product uh, of, you know, uh, Tanzania, really, in reality. Well, so let's run through that because... One, um, you're, this is going to be the last podcast that airs before Mile High. You're going to be the one that right before the event. So that's, so let's run through what people have in store. And I also want to acknowledge that Mile High would not really exist if it were not for Liam Schubel. Because, I, I mean, I want to give you that credit because you said enough things to just turn the, the not the knife, but the, the, the spark on to me that like, ah, oh, I got to do something bigger and better in Colorado. So... 
everybody has you to thank for just flipping that switch on me that we had to make a big change in this area. But running through the real stuff that's happening, one, Thursday night, starting out, Jack Borla, another president, right? IFCO Amen. president, because this is to, you know, IFCO event. Um, and then secondly, we have eight hours of continuing education that's real chiropractic CE. So not like how to tape an elbow, not that there's anything wrong with that, but like actual, you know, chiropractic. Yeah, right? sure, sure. <laughs> you know, um, imagine that. So about, about subluxation, because we should have a place to learn that. Then we've got um, Phil McMaster's doing a presentation. We had these breakout sessions. Oh, my God, this is a first. You know, we have three breakout sessions happening at the same time so people can who, who choose who they want to see. They've got Donald Epstein doing a mastery program. So it's not a network. It's what to do with your hands to be masterful in palpation and adjusting. Oh, right. That's brilliant. We got Sean Dill doing a program on your target market, right? And brilliant. Michael Viscarelli doing a program on retention. Not just how you keep, you know, how you get in the door, but you keep them. So wait a minute. You're saying it's win- Win or winning. Right. Right. Is that, what, is that right. what we got? Either you choose to win or you win or you win. Any one of those breakouts is a, is a winning. Right. And then, and then you've got your know, program. And we've got uh, the IFCO student Q&A panel. So right. to provide something more for the students that do not get enough information of real chiropractic in school, right? So we can, they can get their questions answered by people mm -hmm. that know what they're doing. It's an IFCO panel philosophy session that Joel Kinch is leading and then the, I don't even know if you realize this that Simon sends on the Institute chiropractic he's doing oh. a five-person philosophy panel brilliant brilliant mind brilliant mind gonna so, be great like real content all yeah weekend. that's that's hardcore and of course you're closing it down yeah yeah I always seem to do that I and, and I do it masterfully I must say uh, it's, I always bring your son into it. <laughs> he, uh, yeah, you know, it, it is, and again, it's, it, when I look at the schedule, I mean, of the people that you have on it, I, I just can't believe you continue to invite me back. <laughs> I mean, these guys are fantastic. You know, I, again, they're all masters on the, on the schedule. I, I'm looking at a way I'm going to be talking. I might see if Donnie can uh, uh, clone me for three people so I can attend all three of those breakout sessions and do the IFCO television. I, I'll have to see. Maybe I can get a special dispensation from, uh, from Universal Energy or something like that uh, to make this happen because, uh, you know, gosh, I mean, such value. I, this is, I, I'm excited. And, again, Danny, uh, I don't know if we've laid this out for you completely, but you want the, like, more value. We're talking about IFCO television. Go for it. Uh, Thursday is going to be doing uh, the pregame warm-up between 4 and 6 o'clock. We've got uh, you and Rochelle are going to kick it off. We've got Dr. Stephanie Harris, smoking hot doc in uh, uh, Colorado, Durango. Uh, Dr. Peter Kevorkian, of course, uh, he's the, ch the chairman of the board for every uh, organization on the planet, chiropractic. He, he's our uh, Frank Simon. Sinatra. <laughs> he's Frank Sinatra. <laughs> Simon Senton is going to be there. Jack Borla, Pam Jarbo, uh, Danielle Stetzel, who is a student uh, at IFCO, and then, of course, Dr. Scott Garber, who, uh, you know, runs the phenomenal Berkshire event. That's, uh, that's Thursday pregame warm-up. Wow, that's Thursday? That's I thought that Thursday. was the whole weekend. That's just Thursday? It's huge. That's Thursday. Wow. Then, then Friday, dig this. We've got Donnie Epstein, Edwin Cordero, David Fletcher, Joe Borio, Phil McMaster, Michael Viscarelli, Jay Kamarik, and... Uh, Dr. Sean Dill and, and Dr. Lacey Book. So, wow. I mean, this is going to be a smash hit IFCO television event that you're certainly not going to want to miss. Uh, and, and I, I got to tell you, the, the, the quality of those interviews, Danny, because the environment that you create there is so phenomenal, the quality of those interviews, we get these people when they're at their top level of production. And so you're going to learn a lot if you have the opportunity to turn in. Of course, we're going to, uh, we're going to, um, uh, videotape it or whatever you call it. We're going to record it, right? Uh, we are going to record it so that uh, people will be able to watch it afterwards as well if they miss it. Excellent, excellent. Well, I want to thank you for taking, I know you're busy, and for you to take your time, A, to do this podcast. We appreciate it. People are going to get a lot out of this when they tune into iTunes. If you like this podcast, if you enjoy it, please share it and also leave feedback on iTunes. We're bringing more tick to iTunes. And then, also appreciate you taking your valuable time to come out to Mile High to help 
everybody that you do there with all the information you share, not just on stage, but by being there all weekend and being present, which I, you always do, people get so much value just out of conversations with you. So, and that's one of the big things about going to an event is the conversations you have with everybody. Oh yes, a lot of times it's the offstage uh, connections and relationships that you create are, that are very, very powerful. And, and, I, and I enjoy it. I think we get more done sometimes in a weekend than we do of a series of you know, five or 10 board meetings. It's, it's, yeah. it's that, that face-to-face interaction is incredible. Uh, Danny, it's an absolute pleasure to spend time with you always. Uh, and, and I always make time for it to happen. Because as I say in my smash hit book, Cast to be Chiropractors, Danny, the bigger the vision, the bigger the life. And the vision that we both share is of chiropractic world dominance where every man, woman, and child on the planet is checked for vertebral subluxation and adjusted when necessary from birth. Mile high is crucial to that process. And uh, I hope, folks, if you're listening, uh, that you take action and make a change in your life by coming to Mile High. I guarantee you will not regret it. As a matter of fact, you'll thank me and you'll thank Danny Knowles and his family uh, for the sacrifices that they've made in order to make this happen for you. So Danny, thank you so much. It's a privilege to spend time with you and I appreciate the, uh, the, the opportunity to have this interview today. Thank you, Dr. Schubel, and I will see you soon. Enjoy Peru. Thank you, my friend. Hasta luego. Hasta luego. Like our page on Facebook, www.facebook.com forward slash Mile High Cairo.